I initially prepared for the notion that this is the end and the world's end would be very similar. Turns out, they're actually quite the opposite. 12 pubs, 12 pints, from the first post to the world's end. But that night, we never made it. Hey guys, gals, and Cornetto Trilogy fans. Welcome to Mothman Jones Movie Reviews. I'm John Maffio, and today's featured film is The World's End, starring Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, Martin Freeman, and Roseman Pike. This is essentially the conclusion to the Cornetto Trilogy, which includes Shaun of the Dead from 2004, Hot Fuzz from 2007, and now we have The World's End. And I enjoyed both of the previous installments. The World's End is basically about these five guys, these five best friends, who when they were very young, they went on a pub crawl, which meant that they were trying to get to 12 clubs in one night and to drink at each one, but they failed to. And now years later, everybody's grown up except for Simon Pegg's character, who's an overgrown child, and he basically brings everybody back together somehow, and now they're going to try to do the Golden Mile again. But there are aliens afoot. It's the end of the world as they know it, but they feel fine. That was a terrible joke. Not that I expected this movie to be bad, because director Edgar Wright has made some fantastic films in the past. Scott Pilgrim is very underrated, and he's just a really solid director, and he has great intuition and direction. The World's End was a great movie. It was funny, it was heartfelt, it just had a, actually had a really unique story too, and at the end of the day, I had a lot of fun with this movie. I'm being honest here when I say that I was impressed by The World's End, because... I mean, Edgar Wright knows how to make a competent film, he's a competent director in himself, but I expected this to be a comedy with some heartfelt moments, but this was much more than that, because the acting all around was good, but Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, they've been in the duo for the last two movies too, they showed some really solid acting here, and I really, I don't know, I got stirred up a bit in the emotions, and my heart pounded. This movie has some nice themes to it, and one of the essential core ones is the camaraderie and friendship. And how can you not talk about friendship? It's a beautiful thing. And not to get sentimental, but friendship is something that you have to have in life. Watching this movie made me, at points, think of my own friend group and all the great times we've had so far in our lives and the great times to come. Uh, I got emotional. The comedy and the overall conversations between characters in this movie, the interactions, is just so different. I mean, it's so quick. The banter is just so witty. And truly, I missed a lot of the jokes in this movie because it all goes by so quick. So this demands multiple viewings. And I would gladly watch this again. But the interactions were priceless. And some of the jokes, when you recognize them and you realize what the joke is actually trying to imply, it's like, oh, 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 wow. Some of them really catch you off guard despite the fact that they're being thrown at you like bullets in a gun. And the action. If you know Edgar Wright, you know he knows a thing or two about action. It's pretty incredible. There was quite a few scenes in this movie where I was just in shock and awe that I was actually able to see with my own eyes what was going on with the action, and a lot of it was really, really well done and well shot. There's one battle involving a bathroom, and it's been raved about by other people on the internet, and it lives up to the hype. It's truly an amazing spectacle of action. And then I have to say something about those aliens. They're f***ing cool looking. I mean, their eyes are glowing, their mouths are glowing, when they go, ah! It's like Invasion of the Body Snatchers, just a little more spark to it, and there's a little more going on there, and uh, they're like Lego toys, and there's even a reference to Legos in this movie, and it just made me die. Please note, did not actually die. I feel like The World's End was like a big real-life anime. Just the way it was shot, and a lot of the way that the movie was edited, it felt like an anime. And I don't know, I mean, I was only a big fan of Dragon Ball Z when I was a younger kid, but I just felt like... Something animaic was going on with this movie. But overall, The World's End was a very fun time. No alcohol required. I mean, you could drink alcohol with friends and watch this movie and have a great time. But that's for another time. It has great characters you can be invested in. It has a great, a really good story for what it is. The action is spectacular and you can see everything going on. There's no shaky cam. It's all choreographed to perfection. And it's just a very fun movie. The only thing I have to say is that... The ending drags on a little bit, and it's going to misfire with some people, and I wasn't a fan of it that much, but I appreciated the direction that I went into. I just didn't like it all that much. Still, The World's End is a very fun movie. It's a very fun time at the movies, and if you could see it in theaters, see it in theaters. It's one of the best movie experiences I've had in the theater this year. 
It's a mafidociously darn good movie. It's a 4.5 out of 5 stars. It's, huh, it was a lot of fun. How many times have I said fun already? But on this heavenly day, please tell me, what did you think of The World's End? Let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. If you've seen all three films in the Cornetto Edgar Wright trilogy, which one's your favorite? Shaun of the Dead? Hot Fuzz or The World's End. Please subscribe to my channel and check out the links in the info box to Facebook, Twitter, and We Live Film if you want to. I'm John Maffio, aka Mothman Jones, and as if I wasn't excited for Ant-Man, now I'm just pumped. It's going to be such a different movie for the superhero genre. So excited. See you next time. <laughs>